Hey, review family, keep it, I keep it tight. My name is Jay Morse, the review guy, reviewing music for the love of music, and I'm back again to bring you another video. And in this one, I'm going to be reviewing the new Cannibal Corpse record entitled Violence Unimagined, the 15th studio length album by the American death metal band Cannibal Corpse, by far one of the most widely respected, widely beloved, widely known names in the genre. And chances are, if I were to give an, an itinerary for people to check out bands, to get them into the genre to sort of ease them into it, Cannibal Corpse early records would easily make the list as some of the most iconic, one of the most satiating records in the genre that scratches all of the itches and hits on all the cylinders that a classic death metal record should. I think that more so than any early death metal band, especially in the Chris Barnes era of Cannibal Corpse, while they were very fresh for the time, over time it has been easy to pigeonhole them into feeling like a one trick pony. They get called cookie cutter. They get called one dimensional. They say that they really don't have too many tricks up their sleeve and it's very easy ammunition for haters to sort of elevate them to this position of they are just cannibal corpse. They're always going to do the same thing. But I think on Violence Unimagined, the longest gap between a full length for them as well as the first to feature the new lead guitarist, I think that they prove once again that they definitely do have a lot more tricks up their sleeve than people give them credit for. If Cannibal Corpse is good at one thing, it is crafting a riff, it is crafting a moment that is grooving as all hell and really gets you invested in the songwriting, really gets you invested in sort of the headbang mentality. And Corpse Grinder's vocals really only boost that up even more so. The dude just continues to evolve. Is his style, is his technique pretty one note? Does he really ever push himself? Not really. It's always sort of the same deal with him. He sits very much in the low guttural register, but it is still very unique, it's still iconic, and it's still uniquely corpse grinder, and you can just tell his timbre. After honing his craft for so long, I would be surprised if you couldn't. Take it from someone who has seen the band live, they are just as tight live as they are on a recording, and Corpse Grinder is a fantastic, not only vocalist, but just a stand-up guy in general, definitely one of the best metal frontmen. And from the very first track, Murderous Rampage, they live up to that that name and really get you right into it. The riffs are catchy, they are throttling, very thrash metal inspired, which is no surprise considering that early death metal really paid homage to thrash metal more often than not. And that carries over to Necrogenic Resurrection and Inhumane Harvest, where these throttling riffs just propel these tracks forward and it gets you in a lull, but sort of in a good way, where it is a flurry of very catchy riffs that you can tell, while they are very simplistic and sort of minimalistic in the grand scheme of things, I think that once again, Cannibal Corpse has sort of upped the ante and raised the bar and proved that they are more technical than people really respect them for or think that they can be. Their style definitely has become much more refined, and while they are playing the old vein of death metal by far, and they sound like Cannibal Corpse just as much as they ever have, they still pack in these technical moments, these cool riff moments, these cool percussion bits. They'll slow a track down, there'll be a layer that just comes in with a devastating effect. Now, up until this point on the record, I'm really getting into it. I'm feeling the full extent that it is another really solid Cannibal Corpse record, but I think Condemnation Contagion is where I really started to love this record more than I did their last, because I think their last lacked some sort of buzzsaw that I was really craving, but this really does feel like it's just red before black, but just more fleshed out. The slow chugging nature of this track, Condemnation Contagion, reminds me of a lot of the ideas they were toying around with on Red Before Black, but just done to such more of an exhilarating effect. It pumps up the adrenaline, it really gets you excited, it gets your blood boiling, and it amazes me that they continue to find all of these creative ways to play around with blood and gore and visceralness. From the album art to the song titles to the lyrics, Cannibal Corp, while they are getting very old now, both as a band and just age-wise, they have not lost touch with how to stay gruesome, with how to stay fun and just put a bunch of blood on the table and make you watch it. They go through and they disembowel tracks for a bit over 40 minutes, which is a great length for a solid death metal record, and I think they have come through with a rock solid record. Has their sound dulled at all throughout the years? I think that that is sort of a hit or miss question because the answer isn't that simple. It's sort of complicated. It isn't just a yes or no exclusively. Cannibal Corpse has refined their style. They have pushed the boundaries. They have found ways to make their 
their sound a little bit more fine-tuned and tweak it here and there with technicality and with production to make everything more audible, to make everything more crusted up and bassy, and just have this really full sound to it, very lively and vibrant. But at the same time, it's easy to sort of get the ear fatigue of a Cannibal Corpse record upon listening to it multiple times. When I find myself revisiting this record, I sort of get lost in how normal of a death metal record it is, and I think Cannibal Corpse as a whole, even though they are very gruesome, I think we have become desensitized to the gory nature of death metal nowadays so much that their breed of death metal, their brand of this style of music, has just not hit the same in recent years, considering it feels more safe, it feels less intrusive, it doesn't feel as in your face or shocking. It definitely is just a great Cannibal Corpse record, and if you enjoy the band, and if you enjoy early death metal, it's going to be impossible for you not to enjoy this. Cannibal Corpse remains to be one of those bands that I don't mind one bit with just remaining consistent and making the same record over and over because they do so good at it. They don't need to reinvent their wheel because it has never been broken. There has not been a point in their discography where they have lost their edge or lost touch with reality when it comes to how heavy their sound is. Me personally, I'm going to be giving this album a 7.5 out of 10. And that is a wrap. Have you heard this new Cannibal Corpse record, Violence Unimagined? If you have, let me know in the comment section below what you thought about it. I would love to discuss this record with you. Be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to join the review family today. And smash that notification bell to be notified of my future uploads. You know who it is. My name is Jay Morse, the review guy. I'm signing off saying farewell.